What's going on everybody? You see a Jaguar back here with GenJag.com and it was a very emotional day at the bank today as Jaguars legend linebacker Paul Puzlesny had his retirement ceremony. Now Paul Puzlesny was an elite player on the field and uh, he had a huge impact on all kinds of players that he played with and played against. So in this video we are going to dedicate it to him. Let's get it. So I guess a little background behind Paul Bozlesny. Uh He was drafted by the Bills in the 2007 NFL Draft coming out of uh, Penn State. He played for the Bills for four seasons before the Jaguars signed him in 2011 for agency where he uh, played seven seasons with the Jaguars. Now Paul Puzlesny was the probably the only good acquisition by Gene Smith, whether it be through the NFL draft or be through free agency. As um, you know, he had huge impacts for the Jaguars from uh, the year 2011 all the way up until the 2017 NFL season, where the Jaguars. Uh, made the playoffs and made a pretty deep run. Now, unfortunately for Paul Pozzuzzi, in his 11-year career, he only had one winning season with the Jag, with the you know in the in the NFL in general. You know, he's a part of a lot of bad Bills teams. He was a part of some of the historically worst Jaguars teams in franchise history. But you know, I'm happy we were able to kind of get him to the playoffs and. Uh, you know, kind of have a little bit deep of a run. Now he put himself in the Jaguars record books. Um, he's the second all-time tackler, and he has the most interceptions from a linebacker. And just Paul Pozzuzzi on the field, he was elite. I mean, I remember him coming over to the Jaguars. You know, he had his long hair. I remember moments where he had just the bloody nose and. Uh, I mean, he was a grinder. I mean, at one point, he tore his pectoral muscle off of his body and uh, literally played through it. I mean, Paul Pozzuzzi, uh just such an amazing player. He was just an elite linebacker. Um, he inspired all the players around him. And, you know, Paul Pozzuzzi, he was an elite talent. But uh, one thing that Paul P about Paul Pozzuzzi is that, uh, you know, he might have just been a Hall of Fame person. You know what I mean? Just... Uh, I don't. I'm not like John Gruden, where I use a lot of hyperbole. But I've never, since I've been watching football, seen a player just impact all these different players around him uh, like he did with the Jaguars. Now, if you want to see the kind of impact that Paul Pozzuzzi has made on a guy, just look at Telvin Smith's speech today. I mean, I'll show a little clip. It's right now. I've never met a, a better man than you. I've never had a better teammate than you. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I won't let you down. And I feel like that last game, we let you down. So I dedicate this next season to you, and I promise you I'm going to lay it down and give everything I got because you and the legacy that you left and so many lives that so many of us players that, that are sitting here right now, I promise you don't even understand. I love you. I appreciate you. And forever, you have a place with me as my brother. Can I introduce you all to Paul Puzzleston? And you can find the full video in the links below, but he was just, from start to finish, Telvin Smith was crying. I mean... Uh, and it's just kind of amazing the kind of brotherhood that the, that the NFL brings to you. I mean, Paul Pozzuzzi and Telvin Smith, I mean, if you were to, you know, put one in one room and one in the other and have a 10, 15 minute conversations with the both of them, you know, they are completely different people with completely different um, personalities. But, you know, one thing that just really brings them together is just the game of football. You know, I mean, you look at the guys. Paul Pozzuzzi, he's just this white dude from up in... Uh, you know, Pennsylvania had kind of a, you know, a better upbringing, you know, a really, really smart dude. And you look at Telen Smith, you know, is just a black country boy from down, grew up down in Valdosta, Georgia, you know, didn't really have much. And uh, just, it was just amazing and just so inspiring just to see uh, the way Telen Smith is acting in his press conference today. I mean, he truly has a real love for Paul Pozlesny and, 
I mean, I've just never seen any player come out and just be so emotional toward another guy like Telman Smith was, you know what I mean? Just uh, the impact that Paul Pazuzzi had on Telman Smith and, you know, even a guy like Miles Jack, who when the Jaguars drafted Miles Jack, you know, Paul Pazuzzi pretty much knew that that was a replacement for him. And, uh, you know, you have players that don't respond very well to this. Uh, but with Paul Pazuzny, you know what I mean, he embraced it. You know, he did everything that he could to do uh, to make those guys better football players, to uh, really inspire those guys, and um, it's just crazy, you know what I mean? Just Paul Pazuzny, he was just such a great guy. You know, I've met him a couple times. He was always just out of the Jaguars training camp signing autographs for as many people as they can. Uh, you know, you really just can't say enough about Paul Pazuzzi as a person, you know what I mean? He is just, uh, I've just never seen any player just inspire players around him like he does. I mean, it was really just crazy hearing Telvin Smith kind of speak about Paul Pazuzzi. I mean, I was actually listening to it at work today, and, you know, about three minutes in, I felt my, I literally had a tear roll down my eye, and I literally had to stop listening because... I didn't want anyone to come up to me and see me crying at work because they would not know what was going on. But, uh, I mean, it was just so incredibly touching. And it's just amazing how the game of football, I mean, uh, you, you just take out all kinds of, you know, race, religion, kind of political background. And, you know, I mean, you put these players on a battlefield and, uh, you know, I mean, they just, it's, just create great bonds and they just it's just really amazing and one thing that we did was we really questioned you know can Paul Pozuzny play a little bit more and you know I suspected you know kind of what he said today you know like this is why I thought that he retired but he basically said that you know I would rather retire um, a year too early than a year too late and by that means that he means that you know he doesn't want to be out on the field and uh, because of his age have to basically miss a tackle or not be able to complete his assignment because you know he would feel like he's failing the team like he wouldn't be able to look a guy like Miles Jack or Telman Smith in the eye just because he feels like he let him down and like you really just have to respect the hell of him for that you know such a class act of a player I mean you can't say enough about the guy Paul Pazlesny uh he's just he's just amazing so with that said that kind of wraps up this video you know, let me know down in the comment section what your favorite memory of Paul Pazuzny was. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just a crazy day just with everything that happened. You know, I never thought that I would cry during a Paul Pazuzny retirement ceremony kind of thing. But I did, you know, leave it to Tellus Smith, an emotional guy like him, to do that. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. This is UC at Jaguar with GenJag.com, and I'm out. Say they holler, boo